Good morning, faster skiers. So you guys know the deal by now at the Super Tour race. So I'm standing here with my man, Brian Gregg, winner. The men's 15K classic mass start. So first of all, awesome race. Lots of good people, great field, good racing. So kind of walk us through real quick how the day went down, please. Yeah, the uh, it was a kind of a crazy day here in West Yellowstone. We woke up to just a little skiff of snow and then sitting there eating breakfast, it just kept snowing and snowing and snowing. And so actually very similar to last year, uh, a lot of fresh snow on the course. There was a little bit of a going back and forth on whether people were gonna go on zeros or wax. I myself, I went out, I went out on my wax skis, I was like, I don't have enough kick. Actually, I guess I came out here, I came out here on my warm up skis, which I had waxed a couple days ago and they were icing real bad. So I was like, ah, oh, this could be a good day for zeros. I have some awesome mad shoe zeros. And then, Try my zeros. I'm like these are pretty good, but they don't necessarily feel super fast. Probably because it's been icy and quick here. So, uh, anyways, kept trying to make hard wax work, and I, I just, I it wasn't the kind of kick that I needed. So, uh, it's like, hey, what can you guys do to make the zeros super fast? And my gosh, they did a fantastic job. We had uh, Kamicheski and Joe and Alishka and Piot and. Andy Keller, we had a big group from uh, from Midwest working all together, and that's really nice to see a team working together to put skis that are fantastic. It was fun to see a, a group of skiers out there all, all had really good skis, and so that was really fun. It was kind of a tactical race in the sense that, you know, it was really hard, like maybe get a little gap on the climbs, but then everyone would just bunch right back together. So I just tried to conserve energy and really focus on the last, the last like kilometer or two kilometers. And uh, David Norris had a really strong attack on Telly Hill. He actually uh, came over the top of that. It was me, him, and Ben. Not in that order, I was last. Uh, and then uh, then we came in, uh, I just had a little bit more here at the end. So uh, I'm really happy with that. I haven't won a classic race, uh, classic super tour since my first super tour win in 2010. So. There's a few years in between there, but I'll take it. Right on. Well, that's what's awesome. So, you know, let, let's be generous here and say that you and I are roughly the same age. I mean, we're rounding a little bit here, but you got... We're both masters. There so, you go. You, yeah. So you got the old man strength going. So, you know, those of us with a few more trips around the sun appreciate that. But then talking with Norris and Packer and those guys, one of the things that everyone said was like, man, Brian skied a really smart tactical race. And so that seems like that's a good lesson for you know, people kind of working their way up. There's still a lot of tactics and you seem to execute those very well today. I, you know, that's something that I really enjoy in the mass start racing and it's, it's something to see. I think uh, it was great to see some of the younger athletes. We had a little bit slower pace the first two laps. And so some of the younger athletes were, were up near the front. And I think it's good to see, see a little bit of, uh, of what you can do and trying to pick and choose a little bit where you, where you spend your energy. Um, I personally, I kind of like it when we all go out fast right at the very beginning because uh, I think that prepares us a little bit more for the World Cup. But uh, the the goal is to win the race. So <laughs> the uh, I was a little frustrated yesterday in the sprints. The tactics there, you know, there's a lot of moving back and forth, and and I that was coming up the last hill and like fourth or fifth, and there's no real way to get around. Um, so it's nice to to have it come together today and. You know, it's fun to see other skiers. You know, I think Tad Elliott's a really good tactician out there, and so I actually skied a lot with him, sort of watching where, where he'd, you know, spend the energy to move up in the pack and where he was just sort of relaxing. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, you know, obviously you got the fitness, you got the experience, you got the smarts, and you put it all together, had good skis, that certainly helps, and you executed the plan flawlessly. So congratulations on another big win, and God, it looks like we'll probably see you on another podium someplace soon, right? I hope so, and now it's time to go cheer the misses on. Right on, sounds good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks.